Hi, welcome to Solid Edge ST10 video tutorial, the reference planes in Solid Edge. Uh, there are only a few options in Solid Edge to do reference planes, but let's have fun with Solid Edge. Again, it's not really intuitive, so you could go there, but you have to select as, for example, in Onshape and in Fusion 360 beforehand the type of plane you want to create. Again you can go of course for a parallel one which means it's an offset plane. So select the plane and you can define an offset like this for example. Let's undo this. Next version would be an angled one. Usually you would use some sort of line or axis not in solid edge you have to go for two planes so if i go for this plane and that plane then the intersection of those two planes will make up for an axis and you can rotate and create a plane through that axis and give it an angle like this for example Let's undo this. Next step, perpendicular. That's kind of similar. So you choose one plane and then you have to select the face. Not a good idea. An edge. Not a good idea. Or a plane to be the base of the profile plane. So I will cancel this out and make first another plane by, let's say, three points. So I go for one point right here, another point over there and you could use the end point of a line like this and I've got a new plane. And now I could do the perpendicular one. So go for that plane and you need another reference like this and you will get a plane which is let's see yes it is perpendicular to that one that's kind of a strange type of plane but maybe you might need it let's undo that. What do we have else? Coincident by axis. Creates a reference plane in the plane of a selected plane or face using an axis for orientation. Not really great. Yeah. So you would have to select a plane like this and then some sort, yeah, again a reference plane I go for this one and it creates a plane which goes through the intersection curve of those two planes. Oh, almost all of them are not very useful, I have to admit. So let's undo this. And we've got another option, normal to curve and tangent. Yeah, tangent is nice and normal to curve is useful. So you could select just the curve like this. And then again, some sort of ratio to uh, define the position on that curve. If you go for zero, it's on the one end. If you go for one, it's on the other end. And you could use 0 0.5 to put it right in the middle of that curve. So it seems to me useful are parallel, maybe angled, maybe normal to curve and tangent. The other ones I really don't know where I would use them, but maybe someone can use them. And I'm done. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. 
please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube uh, sorry to my facebook cat fan page i want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well thanks for watching see you the next one bye bye